I'm the Maths Prof and today I'm going to show you how to multiply out double sets of brackets. In my first video of expanding brackets, I showed you how to expand when there's just one single bracket and today we're going to do one step on, a little bit harder, with two sets of brackets. So just remember expanding brackets is the same as multiplying out brackets, which just means we're trying to get rid of the brackets. So in these questions, we have to multiply everything inside this bracket with everything inside the second one. So in order to do this, I'm going to do this in a few simple steps. I'm going to start by multiplying that first x by the first term in the second bracket. So x multiplied by x is x squared. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the second term. So I'm going to multiply this x by 3 as well. So x multiplied by positive 3 is positive 3x. So because it's positive, I need to put plus 3x. Okay, and that term we're finished with, that, that one we've done. Now we're going to do the same thing with the number 1 here. So I'm going to multiply this number 1 with the first term in the second bracket, x. So 1 times x is positive x. So again, I'm going to put a plus. And we don't have to write plus 1x, we can just write x because we're lazy, we don't have to write the number 1 every time. And then 1 times 3, so positive 1 times positive 3, is positive 3. So again, I'm going to write plus. Okay, so we've done the expansion of these brackets. However, we do need to simplify this. If you don't simplify it, then you won't get full marks for the question. You can see there's an x term here and an x term here. So we can add those two together to find the simplest version of this answer. So x squared remains the same. And 3x plus 1x is 4x. So I write plus 4x. And then the 3 just stays the same. Okay, so there's the first question. So we're going to do the same thing in the second one. We're going to multiply x with x. So we get x squared. Then we're going to multiply this x with this number over here, negative 6, so that gives me negative 6x. And now for the 2, 2 multiplied by x is 2x. And positive 2 multiplied by negative 6, be careful, there's a change in sign here, gives me negative 12. And again, we need to simplify. We can simplify, we can add together those x terms there. So the x squared stays the same. Then we've got negative 6x plus 2x, which gives me negative 4x. And the minus 12, it just stays the same. Okay, so some of you, when you get really good at these questions, you might be able to go straight from here to the final answer. And you might be able to do this step in your head. But I think it's always a good idea to show you're working out in maths, in your questions, because that's where you get your working marks. And I think you're less likely to make a mistake if you show you're working out. Okay, now, example number three. Same as before. Multiply these terms together. So x multiplied by x is x squared. Then x multiplied by minus five is minus five x. Then minus 3 multiplied by x is minus 3x. And then be careful here, lots of people make this mistake. Remember, you've got a minus here and a minus here. And a minus times a minus is going to give you a plus. So minus 3 times minus 5 is plus 15. So just watch out for that common mistake here. Don't forget you've got plus here, not negative. And then the simplifying stage. So we're going to simplify our x terms. The x squared stays the same. Then we've got minus 5x minus another 3x, which gives us minus 8x. And then the plus 15 remains the same. Okay, now example number four. Lots of people see this squared and they get excited and they square this and they square this. That's not the right answer. Remember what squared means. Squared means multiply by itself. So this just means this bracket x plus 4 is being multiplied by x plus 4. So in actual fact, it's written like this. Okay, so you're multiplying this bracket 
by itself. So it's just like these questions here. So we're going to multiply the x terms together. So x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. So remember, it's positive, so we write plus 4x. Then minus, oh, positive, sorry, x. Positive 4 times x is positive 4x again. So another plus 4x. And the last one, positive 4 times positive 4 is positive 16, so plus 16. And then remember to simplify. So here are x terms, I need to add those together. So 4x plus 4x is 8x, and remember it's positive, and the 16 stays the same. Okay, I'm just going to write that over here, just in case that got cut off. There we go, so that's the simplified answer. Alright, now the last one. There's more than one way of doing this. You have to times each of these together. So you could times 2 by this bracket and then that answer by this one. Or if you like, you can multiply the brackets and then multiply everything at the end by 2. As long as you're multiplying everything together, it doesn't matter which order you do it in. Okay, remember when we're multiplying, 3 times 2 is the same as 2 times 3. So when I do it, I'm going to multiply the first bracket by this number here. So 2 times x gives me 2x and 2 times 3, so positive times positive, gives me positive 6. Now remember, we have to multiply all of that answer that I just wrote down with the second bracket here. So I need to put brackets around what I've just written down and then that x minus 7 is still there, it hasn't disappeared, it's still there, the brackets haven't gone. So now that I've multiplied out this first part, I need to times that answer with this bracket. So it's just like what we were doing in the previous examples. So 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x multiplied by negative 7 is negative 14x. Then 6 times x is 6x, and because it's positive I need to put a plus. And the final step here, 6 multiplied by negative 7 is negative 42. Now, don't forget, at the end you also have to simplify, okay? So, I've just realised I've left out my squared there. There we go. I think I said it, but I forgot to write it down. So, now we simplify our x terms. So, the 2x squared stays the same because it's the only squared term we've got there. Then, minus 14x plus 6x is going to give me minus 8x and then the minus 42 is still there okay it's the only number so it doesn't change okay so there we go there's multiplying or expanding double brackets